Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my first quarter update of all of the eyeshadows that I have hit pan in, the eyeshadows that I finished, and other face products that I have hit pan in as well. This is a project I've been doing for at least one year, maybe two, but I have a playlist link down below in case you want to go back and check that out and see all of the pans that I have hit and products across my panning journey for the last while. So I don't have any set goals this year. Last year I was trying to hit pan in 70 eyeshadows and I think finish 25 eyeshadows. This year I don't have any set goals like that. I do have 25 eyeshadows I am trying to finish that I have put in my 100 items I would like to finish this year, but there is no hit pan goal for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top of the list, go in order of all the pans that I hit. I will be popping back and forth through several of these palettes. Some of them have multiple pans that I've hit over the past couple of months. And then that way I don't lose my place and forget to update you on an eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and get started. I did not hit any pans in any eyeshadows for the month of January. So basically all of these pans I have hit in February and March. The first pan I hit is in my Cleona eyeshadow. It is a single, it's a metallic eyeshadow in the shade Iceberg. This one took me 24 uses to hit pan in. So I'll give you a swatch of this one. It is a very beautiful turquoise color right there. Just gorgeous, I loved wearing this one. The second eyeshadow that I hit pan in came from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. This one is in the shade Virgin, which is the first one right here in the palette. It took me 45 uses to hit pan in this. I am still working on this. It has a goal to finish this in a project. That's why the pan is so large, but 45 uses to hit pan at first. Pan number three came from my Natasha Denona Mini Zendo palette. I was able to hit pan in the shade Stark right here. It took me 19 uses to hit pan in this shade. I didn't swatch the Jeffree Star eyeshadow, but that one is a matte white, so I don't think that it will really show up, but this is the one from the Natasha Denona palette. The next pan comes from my Glamlight Chocolate Donut Palette. The first pan I hit in here was for the shade Chocolicious, which is this one right here. It took me 16 uses to hit pan in this. This one is my favorite eyeshadow out of that palette. So that's it right there, gorgeous color. Next I hit pan in my Glamlight Glam Donut Palette. I hit pan in the shade Grape, which is this beautiful shimmer shade right here. It took me 11 uses to hit pan in this purple shade, beautiful color, right there. Next, we're hopping back over to my Glam Light Chocolate Donut Palette. I was able to hit pan in this center shade called Chocolate Glazed right here. It took me 15 uses to hit pan in that shade. This one is a gorgeous color, right here. After that, I went back to my Glam Donut palette and I hit pan in the shade Glazed, which is the center one right here. This one took me 25 uses to hit pan in. So 25 uses in this palette, 15 uses to hit the center shade in the other one. So you can see what the difference between the two center shades of the palettes. Next, I hit pan in the shade Jelly, which is this pink right here. It is a matte hot pink. This one is Pretty intense, but it does sheer out. So that one right there, it took me 10 uses to hit pan in that one. Jumping back to the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, I hit pan in this shade right here called Good Morning. It took me 48 uses to hit pan in this one. Let's see if it shows up. It is a very pale matte pink. Yeah, it's barely showing up. I'm not quite sure if you will even be able to see that on there. Probably not. That's why I didn't swatch the shade Virgin either. Going back to the Glam Donut palette, I was able to hit pan in the shade Strawberry right here. It took me 12 uses to hit pan in that. This is the shimmer that goes along with this matte. These two work really well together. They're both about the same tone. So 12 uses in that one. Then I hit pan in my Beauty Bay Age of Opulence palette. I was working on the shade Lavish, this deep blue right here, and it took me 32 uses to hit pan in the blue. This is a very pretty royal blue shade. Let me build that up a little bit. So that's it right there. 
Next is another pink shade. This is the Terra Moon Single in the shade Ruby Stars. It took me 25 uses to hit pan in this. And there is a swatch of it right there. Look at the intensity of that. It is gorgeous. So I loved wearing that one. Going back to my Glam Light Chocolate Donut Palette, I hit pan in the shade Double Chocolate, which is this matte brown right here. It took me 24 uses to hit that pan. So this one is just your typical dark brown eyeshadow that lots of palettes have. Next one is a bit of a spoiler for my Pan Those eyeshadows. This is my ColourPop Cloud Spun Palette, and this is the shade Cotton Cloud. I was able to hit pan right here. Hopefully you can see that. It took me 22 uses to hit pan in this eyeshadow. This is a gorgeous color. This is a palette that I accidentally dropped on the ground while it fell off my bathroom counter and shattered. So look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Just a ColourPop formula, but it looks just as nice as some beautiful indie brands. Next is my Chocolate Donut Palette again. I hit pan in the shade Marble, which is this one right here. Took me 14 uses to hit pan in that shade. Let's see, I'm starting to run out of room right here. Gorgeous dark brown shimmer. And then I hit pan in the shade Boston Cream in that same palette, which is this one right here. It took me 18 uses to hit pan in this shade. So a little bit of a lighter shade right there. After that, I hit pan in my Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. This is the shade Galaxia. It's the very first one in the palette. This one took me 18 uses to hit pan in. This is a really pretty light pink shimmer, but it is very flaky. So that's it right there. And then the last one that I hit pan in is in my Nomad Home for the Holidays palette in the shade Kaiser, which is this beautiful orange shade right here. It took me 25 uses to hit pan in here. So I'll give you a swatch of the orange right down here. So I don't have the two Jeffree Star shades, the Virgin and Good Morning, but these are all of the pans I hit. If you've been counting, I have been able to hit pan in 18 eyeshadows in the first quarter of this year. So that is pretty exciting. Now let's talk about eyeshadows that I have finished. The first one that I finished is this e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick in the shade Rose Gold. This is rolled all the way up. I can't get any more out of this. It took me 96 uses to finish off this eyeshadow, so this is the first eyeshadow empty of this year. And the second one is for my BH Cosmetics Miss Claus So Spoiled palette. I was working on the shade Stone Cold. It is an empty up here. It took me 76 uses to finish off this eyeshadow. So I only have two eyeshadow empties and 18 pans for this first quarter. Now that we finished talking about eyeshadows, let's hop on over to face products and other things that I can hit pan in. The first item that I was able to hit pan in comes from my Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. I hit pan in the shade Stellar, which is this finishing powder right here. As you can see, I have a massive pan in here. It took me 31 uses to hit pan in this face powder. However, I have kept working on it, so that's why the pan is so large in that one. The next one I was able to hit pan in is my Alley Oop Stack the Odds palette in the shade Sassy Pants. I was working on the bronzer and it took me 32 uses to hit pan in this bronzer. Again, I'm still working on it, so I've expanded the pan quite a bit. Next, I hit pan in my Paracone MD No Makeup Instant Blur Primer. I was able to use this one 38 times before hitting pan, and again, I'm still working on it, so the pan is expanded quite a bit in this one. Next is from the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. I was working on the shade Enhance. It took me 41 uses to hit pan in here. Still working on this one as well. And then the final pan that I hit is going back to my Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. I was able to hit pan in the shade Moonbeam after 76 uses. Let me turn this upside down. Hopefully you can see that little teeny sliver of pan right there. So I have the tiniest little baby pan in there. I'm gonna keep working on that to expand it. But those are all of the pans that I have hit in my face products. Now I do have 
two empties as far as face products goes. The first one that I have completely finished is my Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Pearl. It took me 274 uses to completely finish this one. So this is gone and this one is completely empty. And then you'll have to let me know if you want me to update you on this palette in this project. This is the Jeffree Star Platinum Eye Skin Frost Pro palette. I'm asking because one, I don't support Jeffree Star. I'm just trying to use this up. And this is a highlighter palette that I mix in lotions, but I do have progress in it. I was able to finish up this one called Lavender Snow. I don't have uses on this because I just take a bit of this out and mix it in with a lotion. I had a ton of Pam on this at the beginning of the year, so I finished this one off. And then this one has Pam because I've used a ton of it in lotions as well. There's less than half a Pam left in here. My goal is gonna be to try to finish off this entire palette this year. So let me know down below. Do you want me to show you this palette or would you rather I just keep working on it in the background and not update you on it? I would love to hear your feedback on that. I'm just showing you because I have one finished and one huge pan in this palette as well. So those are all of the pans I've hit this first quarter of 2023 and the items that I have finished as well. I hope you enjoyed this update. I do have all of these products listed down below with the number of uses it took me to hit pan in them or finish. So that is everything that I have for you today. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.